Cross doubled in. There's a chance he could pot this red. Yeah, he got it thin enough. Be happy with that. Oh, there's a bonus. Yes, Neil can play side cushion and draw from the one on the cushion. Two cushion plants then. Foul, I miss. Graham Dock for. <laughs> Robertson's got the four points back. Yeah, he was hampered queuing. That didn't help. Yeah, just checking for a free ball. <laughs> They're all having a look, but it's the referee's decision. <laughs> yeah, just to make, make Leo making sure he takes the right red away. No free ball called. Really had his hand on the table as yet. One. The finals this week. This is a key shot. Nine. Not easy to tell whether the green will pass the pink there. I think it does. Graham will know that already. He'll have sussed that situation out. Twenty-five. Brown's good. Brown or above. Off the last red. Three. The pink being there makes this target a bit smaller in between brown and pink twice. Oh, what a shot. Is it, if he lands straight, it's no good. Eight. Squeeze an angle out of this yellow. Back across for green. Okay. This is a big shot for Graham Dot. Graham Dot, forty. Remember, he just needs the green. Well, consolation obviously is that he hasn't left it. One of the few players in the game that plays that shot, deliberate. See, Neil doesn't like playing that, playing that shot. I don't blame him. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Yeah, the referee's saying, you know, this can't go on all day. Graham Dot, as Alan said, there's, there's no reason why he should, the player behind should uh, want to change the scenario. And try and get the green a wee bit further to the right. A 
only thing is, though, if he leaves any distance between Green and cue ball, then Graham's got the upper hand in the safety battle. Is this <laughs> that is though? <laughs> it's fluked it out the snooker. Funny old game, isn't it? One bad turn deserves another. <laughs> Graham Dot three. Only nine minutes now, this frame. You want to flick it to left middle. Not that far away. Ticking towards the half, half hour mark for the frame. Great frame to win. Robertson had not only the red, he had a chance at the green later on. 15. But Brian Dot needs the block to level up. Big frame to win this. It's been 31 minutes of battle. Well, Robertson played a poor safety, and Graham Dot made a steely little clearance. It was going to be 2 0 to the Australian, but Graham Dot levels up. Very nice. Very nice shot. Five. And what do you think at home? I reckon he's on that. Well, that made. I think it went anyway, I'll be honest. I think uh, he played it with a, some right-hand side. I think it went in the first oh. place. Thirteen. Just feel that the pressure is building up on every shot. And he's overcut quite a few of these types of shots already today again that's the common theme Kim Dott, you called it Phil one eight a difficult frame so far. But... 22. Hmm. No, that's not right. Now he's got to play a recovery shot. Judged it well. Well, I would say, given its context. That was tough, but so what, really? It was irrelevant. 
He's made the four highest breaks of the afternoon so far, Neil Robertson. And now he's 5 2 ahead. This, here, this is a quite difficult plant. It's just not a natural. He's got to cut the first red thin onto the second one. Very studious, isn't he, on those shots? He gives it a lot of consideration. I've got the feeling he's put a lot of practice in at this sort of shot. Doesn't miss many of them. Twenty-four. On a snooker table at the moment, every day is Australia Day. Thirty-two. Mindful of using his prowess at plants, he doesn't manage to plant a red in here. Sometimes it's unavoidable, other times you could work it out. <laughs> I think he knew it was on, and I think he tried to play it slowly yeah, enough to be five. on it. Phil, see if you had, had the answers I didn't have. <laughs> no. Yes, and they're the kind of shots he's knocked in all week. Yes, there's a red in the middle of the bunch which goes. A bit of a grimace from six. Grimace. It still goes from there. We'll get to it all right. Seven. Well, this is an opportunity he probably didn't think that he was going to get in this frame. And there's no obvious reason why he shouldn't go on to clear up. No troublesome ball here at all. Thirteen. Ideally, you would have liked to go into the two reds close together in plotting this red, but of course, with this angle, there's no way. 22. Well, it's a terrific shot. I know he's got on the red perfectly, but Put the ground with the rest and get what was not a very big target. He's had a couple of shots like this already today that have gone towards that far jaw. That one was near jaw. Well, he's got second prize.
It's a pretty good shot, in fact. He has left. Something of a shot to nothing. He's not missing many of those sort of shots, though, is he, these days? It may not be difficult to hit, but it's difficult to be sure of leaving it safe. Anxious moments as the red was going up the table. Yeah, this is worse than the first one he was in. Yeah, nasty biz of this snooker. Well, he's done okay, but he has left a, an opportunity. What a chance he now has. Just risk position here. Gets the blue on its spot. If he gets on the yellow, it should be frame over. Yep, that was good thinking and, and very well executed. So, just a few shots here, which... Well, he wasn't comfortable oh. at all on the shot. Fifteen. Twenty. Similar to the second frame, this where Robertson was in command and couldn't quite get over the line. Had a little bit of good fortune at the right time and kept on fighting. A very entertaining session concludes with Neil Robertson 5 3 ahead. It might have been more, but don't discount Dot. Neil Robertson, 32. Yeah, it wasn't a setter. There's a chance crowd got. Nine. He does negotiate that pocket. Discovered Snook at the age of eight, his granddad and his uncle would play every weekend, Graham would watch. Eventually they let him have a game, and this is very unusual. First time he played, he made a 40 break, which is incredible, really. He'd like more than that here, though, in this frame. 12. More of that nature, knows he in the split. You see, that's better. That's much better. As you said at the start, didn't he? Right at the start of the day, Dot. If I'm six each, I'll fancy it. Let's see if that transpires. As for now, he's got Robertson in a heap of trouble here. Bye, Jim. 
Williams, what a pot. Attack the pack as well. Oh, dear me. And then Robertson, it massively overcuts that. See how he delivers in this one. He was a wee bit quick for me in the last frame. This type of shot. Yeah, that was better. He timed that, didn't he? It? it sounded better, looked but everything about it. 3-1. This little session would be the target for Graham. Two out of three ain't bad. And a huge frame 17. coming up then. Hold on. Hold on. This is not like that one. Eighty five. Eighty eight. Just stays out, so the break ends at 88. Graham Duck wins his second frame of the evening. Neil Robertson leading 6-5. One more frame. There, see, there's another. He's tried to adjust. He's been fortunate this time. Barring a plant to left corner. Well, I think Dot feels this plant goes. And Graham Dot was right. Well, I think it's just a fly. We've had a few this week. Oh, Smash to escape Leo Scullion's clutches for now. Which way do they choose? I would say deep screw and try and get the cue ball working. Yeah, like that. Show, wasn't it? It's very unfortunate, it really. Cue ball's the, the priority, getting that safe. Well, in fact, if you get through to that red, what a pot. And he's actually been very unlucky because the path that he took the cue ball, you think he'd almost guaranteed get a kiss. One. Unfortunately, not the brown to match. Both those reds offer the opportunity to play a cannon on the red and black. And looks like it does from that view. There's the cannon. One. I don't think he's on anything. Is he on the black? Aiming low. He's been, been trying it. He's tried. 64. Well, he's going to need something special here to keep the break going.
tremendous effort. We need to just a trace a left hand side. Graham Dot remains in his chair and the Neil Robertson lead expands to 8-5. Looking mighty good. Uh, looks exasperated because yet again from his break off, he's left Neil Robertson the pot. In the modern game, the break off has become such an important shot. And even more so when you're playing someone who's probably, in my view, the most reliable long potter in the game. <laughs> it's been attacked by something. It's probably the only thing that's going to stop him winning this match, the way he's playing. Wasn't the best shot of the blue. You don't really expect them to miss anything at the moment, though. That's a beautiful touch. Never could play. Five centuries in the match. Graham Dot just broke off there. Neil Robertson did the rest. And now he's on the threshold of being the World Grand Prix champion. 